Are you frustrated with online dating? Confused by all the new apps and fancy dating sites? Do you find yourself choosing the wrong person again and again? Well, studies show that hiring a dating coach can maximize your online dating experience. So no worries, I've got you. And I've created a virtual course called Doing Dating Right. It's a five video series that you can complete at your own pace in your own space, right at home. How to write your online dating bio, pick that perfect picture, and so much more. Want more info? Go to my website at jenniferherbits.com. Again, it's jenniferherbits.com. Good morning, good morning. This is Doing Relationships Right. I'm Jennifer Hervitz. I'm your host every single Tuesday. Take a deep breath, y'all. Take a deep breath because today we are talking about penises. And I'm thrilled. I can't even believe it because I've never had a guest on my show that is like Jeff Abraham. Did I say that right, Jeff? Yes. I did. Awesome. He's the CEO of Absorp- Absorption Pharmaceuticals. And the, the thing he has is called, it's, from, it's called Promescent. Did I say it right? You said it exactly right. Thank God, Promescent. I did it right. Okay. So it's the leading sexual wellness company. That's what we've got here. And Jeff, I'm just going to let you tell everybody what, what, your, what your product does. Can we start there? Certainly. Let's do it. We have a number of sexual wellness products, but our signature product, the one that we built the company on before we expanded and went into female products and other male products, but the absolute signature product, the foundation of the company is called Promescent Delay Spray. Oh, that's and, right. Yeah. And the way that it works, and there have been delay sprays prior to us, there have been other products like SSRIs, which are serotonin reuptake inhibitors, depression drugs which allow men to last longer. But the real difference with us is we don't have harmful side effects. In the, I call them the cane family of products, benzocaine, lidocaine, prilocaine, stuff that had preceded us, they had the desired effect of allowing you to last longer, but it was because you were so numb. I tell people you could have dropped a cinder block on your penis and not felt anything. You know what I mean? You were completely numbed. And then even worse for the female, it transferred to her and she was numb also. So I used to tell people, you might as well go take a spin class. You might as well go take, a, you know, an aerobics class or, yeah. you know, a Zumba class. Because everybody's moving, everybody's sweating, but no one's receiving pleasure uh, or intimacy. Right. So Dr. Ronald Gilbert, who was the founder, my neighbor, good friend, doctor, everything. That's how I got into this. He literally was a urologist. So people okay. would come to him with prostate issues. He had many different solutions. They would come to him, you know, with incontinence issues, with ED. He had Viagra, Cialis, Levitra, et cetera. They would come to him with PE and he'd go, well, either you want to be completely numb and not feel anything, or you want to take an SSRI and have dry mouth, nausea, loss of libido, suicidal thoughts. I go, excuse me, I'd rather have PE. You know, so (laughs) there really weren't a lot of good, you know, alternatives. Okay. So he got together with an inorganic organic PhD chemist by the name of Dr. Tony Capomaccio. Mm -hmm. And they developed a eutectic formula, which changes the crystalline structure of lidocaine. So lidocaine in its pure form is a solid. It's a crystal. It sits on the surface of your skin. okay? Okay. That's why it numbs you completely and it transfers to your female partner. Gotcha. So this eutectic formula, which we developed and patented, it allows lidocaine to penetrate the dermis or stratum corneum, the outer layer of the skin, so it goes into the fatty tissue underneath. So a man has a much higher degree of surface sensitivity, and it doesn't transfer to the female part. Oh, look at you. That is literally, in a nutshell, what makes us better, what makes us different. That's the differentiator. Okay. And only we can have it because we patented it, and it took a lot of work to develop it. It's amazing. But it's absolute brilliance. And it's funny how such a subtle change can make such a huge difference. Absolutely. And yeah, go ahead. Well, I watched um, the video with Dr. Gilbert before yes. I was, I was talking to you a little bit. And um, he also said something really cool about it was that it has a, the, the delay, but it, it gives you the exact, the pump or whatever it is, gives you the exact doses. So you can't mess it up. Yeah. There's a meter dose spray yeah, bottle. Unlike a tube or a cream or something where you squirt something out, right. it's a meter dose spray bottle. So you get the exact same amount each time. Uh, And we have people that literally will tell us, if I use three, I literally last a little bit too long and I cross the threshold from pleasure to pain. You know what I mean? Like (laughs) trying to pleasure your partner, not punish them. You know what I mean? (laughs) Right, exactly. It's so funny when you talk to people because everyone's got their own little 
recipe. You know, like yeah. if it's like a weeknight and we got to get up early, whatever, I use two sprays. If it's, you know, a weekend and we have, you know, the kids are away, you know, whatever, then we use three because we know we have, I'm like, oh God, too much information. No, you know it's I mean? not though. Like, it's great though. It's great. No. It's a game changer. This is a game changer. No, it's excellent. And it, yeah. it gives people the amount of control. And what I tell people is, you know, it's really strange because there's a lot of old wives tales out there and, mm -hmm. you know, comedians always joke about two pump chumps and, you know, all these things. And there's been this scenario and this kind of feeling that a man who prematurely or rapidly ejaculates doesn't want to pleasure his partner is, you know, narcissistic, doesn't have the mental strength. Trust me, after doing this for 10 years and talking to people, there's nothing yeah. a man who prematurely ejaculates wants more than to pleasure his woman. Absolutely. There's nothing he wants more than to last long enough to give his partner intense, strong orgasms as well as himself. Right. And the one thing to keep in mind is sometimes people go, oh, this is a male problem. No. No. Because if a man rapidly or prematurely ejaculates, he still ejaculates. Okay. The woman's like, excuse me, I'm over here. What about me? You know, like, yes. and yes. then you always see the, when they have the advertisements, the guy sitting on the edge of the bed with his head in his hands and the female's like, oh, don't worry. I, you know what I mean? You're fine. But then and she's I, mad. She's in the other room going, yeah, because, damn it. You know, intimacy is about reckless abandonment. It's about pleasure. It's about feeling the moment and feeling yeah. the pleasure. And the coping mechanisms that a lot of men use are think about baseball scores, think about their grandmother, think about anything to take the focus off of pleasure. You know what right, I mean? Right. There, there's not a man on the planet at one point in his life or another, whether it's in his younger days or older days, because sometimes it's very prevalent in younger people because their first experience, the sexuality, they don't know that yep. point of no return. They don't know when you get that inevitability factor, you know? Sure. And then a lot of men as they age have it as well because of prostatitis, lower testosterone. So there's not limited to, but there's four or five different physiological reasons, hypersensitivity, the penile nerve. So there's a lot of reasons why. So don't, a man can prematurely ejaculate from a physical standpoint. So don't look at it as he doesn't want to please his partner. He doesn't care. He's not mentally strong. And I tell people, why is it that no one ever looks down on a diabetic who takes insulin? Right. Why is it that no one ever goes, a cancer patient shouldn't take chemo. He should cure it with his mind because it doesn't happen. There are a lot of physiological reasons why this takes place. Absolutely. We need to encourage people. And one of the things is this is a couple's issue. Okay. We need to get out of the mindset that all everyone's concerned about is their own orgasm. Okay. Agree. Thank we you for saying that. Thank you. We need to focus on pleasure. And I tell people, don't just focus on the orgasm. Enjoy the journey, okay? Number one, over 50% of women generally do not climax during vaginal intercourse. So if your goal is that, you're pretty much setting yourself up for disappointment right off the bat. Enjoy the pleasure. Enjoy the entire process, okay? From, you know, foreplay to hugging to kissing to afterplay, everything. And I tell men that suffer with rapid or early ejaculation that one of the best things to do, and I coined a little phrase, is I say, put one in the bank. And they go, what does that mean? I said, give your partner an orgasm prior to commencing with intercourse or whatever. Yeah. And that way, you're not sitting there going, oh my God, I hope I last long enough that she has an orgasm. Well, yeah, it takes, the, it takes the anxiety off. Takes the, it it takes anxiety, the stress off. Yeah. Anxiety and intimacy are two completely separate emotions uh, and they absolutely. should never, ever be in the same conversation. Okay. But they are, you have to, I know we have to talk about that because it says that, you know, like eliminating anxiety from intimacy is one of your taglines. And I love that. That was my favorite. Absolutely. That's our whole goal. Yes. Get because the anxiety it, out so that you can enjoy yourself. Yes. If and, you're anxious, you're so focused on whatever it is that's causing the yes. angst that you're not in the moment. You're not absolutely. Present. If Absolutely. You're not present, your partner perceives it as you're not into them. Right. And then I call it the layering effect. Yep. Oh, he's not into me. Therefore, I better not be too into him. Then he's going, you're not into me. And then literally you have couples that go, neither one of us care for one another. And that's and then not it's it. the case. Right. But they allow these things to layer and build up. 
And I tell people, they go, oh, you know, what are some of the best sexual, you know, hints and what are the best things you can do? And I go, communicate, communicate. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. talk to people, literally, both husbands and wives and, you know, partners that have been in a relationship for eight years, 10 years, in some cases, 20 years. And the guy has had severe PE the entire time. And I'll talk to the wife. What have you guys used to address this prior? Well, nothing. We've never really talked about it. Oh, I'm like, excuse me. I, I, you know, cause I'm a very communicative person, even yeah. prior to running this business. And I took the most circuitous route ever to run a sexual wellness company. I owned a semiconductor engineering business. Okay. I didn't and then that. I transitioned to this. Okay. okay. I'm like, Oh my God. Cause my next door neighbor started, I had retired sure, early, sure. you know? And so one thing led to another, but I tell people that I've always been a type of person that I felt and it's not just on a sexual or relationship level communication, whether it's siblings, whether it's mother, daughter, father, son, whether it's coworkers, friends, anything, communication is the key. If you're with your partner and you're intimate and they're doing something you don't like, don't sit there and go, oh God, he's doing that again. I hate that. Say, you know, Say it, you right. might've had partners in the past that really enjoyed that. You know what I mean? But for me, that's something not only do I not enjoy, I don't like. Right. Or instead of going, I wish he or she would do this, say, you know what I really like? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This is a, you know, take Absolutely. the ego out of it. You know what I mean? Like, oh my God, if I tell him something different, he'll realize he's not the best lover who ever walked. The why do we, do, why do women, why do you think, is it just, there's just, what is it? What, why can't well, people just say it? You want my opinion. I'll tell yes, you. Yes, right I do. Now. That's why you're here, Jeff. That's it's why you're here. The most fragile substance on earth. Agree. The male Agree. ego. It's Agree. the male ego. It's at, because every man has to feel that he's Tarzan. Every man has to feel that he's a porn star. And, but it, it cracks me up because every man doesn't have to feel like he's the no, fastest No, they runner. don't. Every man doesn't feel like he's the highest jumper. Every man doesn't have to feel he has the greatest bench press. But when it comes to sex, there's a vulnerability. And there's this feeling that if you're not earth shattering, then you're less than. And you know what I tell people? Leave your ego, check it at the door. I Just agree. partner on giving your, or, or, you know, focus on giving your partner the most intense and largest number of orgasms possible because you're paying it forward. One thing, if you really focus on your partner, they will treat you like Gandhi. Oh, he's the most caring person ever on planet Earth. Oh, he focuses on me. Oh my God. In reality, you're just assuring yourself that you're going to have a lot of very good orgasms because your partner's going to go, whoa, I'm going to make sure I take care of him because he takes care of me. Right, right. And you get the benefit of being selfless. And in reality, you're just making sure that you're taken care of. You know what I mean? It's, so, hey, I'm all it's for a win -win. that. It's, yeah, it's a win-win. Okay, yeah. wait, so I have a question. I have a lot of questions. I've been, I've been taking notes. You can't see me, but I've been taking notes. Okay, the orgasm gap. Yes. Did, we talk, did we already talk about that, but I just didn't know? No, no we didn't. What is it? Me. Explain to me. The orgasm gap is widely known in urological uh, and other medical communities. And what the, let's step out of the realm of PE. Let's talk about normal, healthy male and female sexuality. Okay. The average man, normal, average, healthy male lasts five minutes and 42 seconds of actual penetration or thrusting. Okay. Okay. The average female takes over 18 minutes to climax of penetration and thrusting. So I, in my head, in I'm doing the math. Okay. Relationships. Okay. There is a defined gap that exists. Okay. So that's why guys go, I'm the master of cunnilingus. That's why there's 7 trillion vibrators in the world. That's why guys stop, start, switch positions. Think about baseball scores. Every man in the world at one point or another has gone, oh my God, I hope she doesn't go reverse cowgirl. I can't last in that position. Oh my God, I hope she doesn't get, oh my God, I hope she doesn't want doggy style. I can't last in that position. Oh my God, I hope that we stay missionary because I can last in that position. Right, 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 okay. right. That's the arousal gap. And I will tell you this, that... When a man is with a new partner, he tends to, no matter what his normal IELT, which is inter-ejaculatory late time is, no matter what it is, it's less than when you're with a new partner. Absolutely. Because instead of going, I do this, she does this, we roll over, we do this, it's <laughs> new. It, it's it's a, new. It's exactly. new. Exactly. Yes. It's, it's not a routine. So right. it adds to the excitement. excitement. Yes. If a man has not had sex in a period of time, he's likely to have a quicker trigger because yes. of the buildup. You know what I mean? Yes. And because of the lack of release prior. Okay. So even if you don't suffer 
chronically with PE, it's nice to know in certain situations that you have that insurance policy. You know, absolutely. And a absolutely. lot of our uh, users will say, I don't use it all the time, but there are certain times when I want that insurance. And I use the analogy, you go, well, I live in a pretty safe neighborhood. I don't really see a lot of fires here. There's, it's, you know, relatively moist and wet, you know, but if all of a sudden your house is burning down, it's too late to put insurance on it. Okay. You need you some can't of that. call the insurance company after it's burnt down. Go, hey, I want to insure this house. Yes. Wait, it's a bunch of ashes. Yeah. But can I insure it? Yeah. You can insure it for 29 cents, not the $2 right. million dollars worth before it burned down, you know? So I tell people that if all of a sudden you're with a brand new partner and a minute and a half in, you're like, oh my God, I'm about to ejaculate. You can't reverse it. Right. Okay? No, you can't. Right. So it's a nice situation to have this insurance policy. But we don't say we're the end all do all. When you go to our site, and I was criticized I like your site. first because people go, is that a university educational site or you're trying to sell product? And I go, listen, we believe that the more information you have, the more research you Agreed. do, the more roads lead to us. Because number one, we have pharmaceutical grade ingredients. We manufacture under pharmaceutical grade conditions, okay? Our products are patented. We do validation runs. You know, and we have a medical advisory board that yeah. is absolutely second to none. We have Dr. Wayne Hellstrom, who's the president of the International Society of Sexual Medicine. He's on our advisory board. Wow. We have Dr. Larry Levine, who's the chief of, chief of urology at Rush Memorial Hospital. We have Fayel Safi. We have Rachel Rubin. You know, we have- You're not a, messing around here. No, we're, we're not messing no. around. Mm -mm. We have Emily Moore, you know, sex with I Emily. love her. She went to my high school. No. Yes, she did. I'm from Detroit. I love her. She's from oh. my high school, but we've never been any, I want to be in her pot. We should do a little, you know. I will, I'll tighten you tell up. Tell her I say hi. Tell her Andrew I say hi. We are really, really good friends. Okay? Oh, tell her I say hello. She is wonderful. I mean, I, is, have you ever met her? Have you ever seen her? I've never, you know what's funny? She, um, we're a year apart, but she dated a good friend of mine. In high school. In high school. After we get off. After, here, after high school. After high school. After we get off, you got you to give me the G2 on this. I'll be <laughs> talking to her later today so I can go, hey, I ran into someone from your past. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, that's so uh, funny. She's a great girl. And her she brother. She is wonderful. Yeah. Well, the first great. time I met her, because we had been dealing like for two or three years. Yeah. I met her in person. She's like 4'11", about she's 85 She's this big. Pounds. She's she this big. She is miniature. I know. Tiny, I told tiny. her, I was going back to Summerlin. She goes, you know, I really need a trip to Summerlin. I go, I'll throw you in my overhead bin. You know what I mean? Come on. You know, you, <laughs> I'll put you in my pocket. She has so much personality and yeah, she's great. so much strength for someone so tiny, but she's genuine. <laughs> well, it's she's, a Jewish in her. It's a chutzpah. That's she's exactly. Got, she's got moxie like me. Moxie. She's got moxie. That's what, that's what we got, and, moxie. Uh, you know, we become really good friends. Oh, good she's on her advisory board. Dr. Laura Berman, Dr. Love Ian her. Turner. Love her. You know, yes. and people are like, how in the world did you get all those people? And I go- Those are some great people. They're great people. I go, yeah. we have products that work and- they're not, and I wish I was kidding when I said this, but we compete with products like deer antler extract, bull testicle derivative, derivative, you know, shark fin, you know, some of these people making stuff in their garage, you know, that kind of hey, stuff. Why would and you put that on your penis? For me, when I took over this company, one of the reasons I did what I did was getting this advisory board of top notch physicians so that people would go, this isn't one of those other companies. I right. have to check this out. These guys are serious. We are serious because sex is serious. I agree. Intimacy is serious. It's a huge part of life. It makes or breaks relationships, okay? So we take this very seriously. And we were founded by a physician who took his responsibility very seriously. Dr. Gilbert, unfortunately, is not with us anymore. But this company is literally in his image and in his honor, okay? So it's very important that we do things ethically and we do things right. So we've had tremendous boost from the medical community. I have a question. So yes. let's talk about this for a minute. Um, a lot of men, now I want to say a lot, some men are embarrassed, like the embarrassment factor of the whole, this whole, like, you know, they don't want to take the pill. They, they hide. I've had actually like, well, let's I've known be honest, people, the majority, yeah. you don't have to say, not okay, I don't want, I don't want to hurt anyone. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm not like, really correct. I'm honest. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You say it. Men who use anything. The first thing they ask is, I don't want anyone to know I'm using. Right. right. So my no, question is. Correct. Okay, right. So, like, here's my thing. I mean, I've been with someone for five years, so I'd be like, just squirt that, but just do it. You know, I, yeah. I'm talking about everything, and we don't give a shit. But what? Do, I mean, why? How do we? I guess my two part question: How do we stop that? And what do you? What do you suggest people do with this? I mean, 
Oh, you know let me saying? tell you what I do all the time. Okay, a lot of podcasts, a lot of radio shows and stuff that I do have call-in yeah. questions, okay? And I always tell people, be prepared for the largest amount of questions you've ever, ever had. Because number yeah, one, people yeah. can do it anonymously because if you have a talk in an auditorium on premature ejaculation, you have an audience of zero. Because everyone yeah. in the audience will yeah. go, I'm identifying myself as a premature right. ejaculator. Right. By point that but this is the perfect forum, okay, to ask Absolutely. the whole thing. So here's what I tell people. So I go, 50% of the people are going to call in or be women. Are you sure? I go, and then sure Absolutely. enough, it happens, Absolutely. Right? Right. And when a woman calls in, I turn over to my host and I whisper, I can tell you exactly what the conversation, what the question is going to be. How do I get my guy to use it? How do I bring this up? Yep. How do I bring it up? Without hurting his feelings. Absolutely. And That's my question. Exactly. If you start and you go, you don't last long enough. You don't satisfy oh. me. You're, you're going to have a train wreck. So here's what I tell people. Okay. You start off, you say, you know. I really enjoy our lovemaking. I think we have a great sex life. But, you know, let's have a fantasy night. Let's have a Fifty Shades of Grey night. I'm going to get you a riding crop and a feather duster and a blindfold. And so you come up with six or seven things and you add a little promescent in there. And if he goes, what's this? You go, I don't want this night to end. It's our special night. You know what I mean? Oh, there you go. And here's what men love, control. (laughs) I tell women, if you get him to use it one time, you will never have to tell him again because he will use it every time for this reason, okay? Did you ever notice how if a couple goes to dinner or you say two couples go to dinner, yeah. the guy is driving 99.99% of the 99%. time. 99%. If I see every time. Drive, a woman driving, I go, the guy's obviously got a DUI, okay? So the woman yeah. has to drive, okay? If you go over a couple's house, you go, okay, we're going to watch TV tonight or whatever. Who's got the remote? It's in the guy's hand. He will not give up the remote. Never. If, Guy's driving somewhere and a woman goes, you're like, I'm not lost. I know exactly where I'm at. He'll drive around in a circle for an hour and a half without asking directions. Guys refuse to relinquish control. So if a guy uses it one time and his mindset changes from, I hope I can last long enough to, do I want to give her two or three prior to finishing? All of a sudden, you don't have to worry right. anymore about him wanting to use it. He's going to go, I'm using this because I love the feeling. Because every man wants to please his partner because it makes you feel good. It makes you feel virile and strong. And it makes you feel like you're in control of your domain, so to speak. Right, right. So I tell people that all you have to do is get the man to use it once. And then you won't ever have to give it to him again. He I will love it. use it. And I love it. I've had women call me and go, oh my God. Not only that, a year later, he's going, I'm so glad I found this stuff. You know what I mean? Typical guy. Okay. It's like, hey, you know, I'm in control here. I found <laughs> it. I- I'm so glad I found it. I love that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, I've had women tell me exactly that. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't realize it. Here's another example. Okay? okay. I use this analogy. It's so crazy. And I used to say, if every time this happened, I had $10 and I went to a hundred, then I went to a thousand. I'm getting real close to have to change it to 10,000 because I've been doing this for 10 years. So I'll be somewhere and a couple will come up most recently because of the pandemic. You know, I haven't been out in social situations as much. But right before the pandemic hit, we had this big barbecue, this celebration where I live. It's a brand new community. And so it was really nice. They had a band and a food truck. It was like really, really nice. So fun. And this couple comes up to me. They're like, hey, where do you live? Are you the guy at 82 Sun Club? I go, yeah. Oh, my God. I love your house. I I was like, oh, yeah, it's really nice, you know. And the guy goes, what do you do for a living? And I go, I'm the CEO of a small pharmaceutical company. He goes, what's the name? I go, Absorption Pharmaceuticals. I don't think I've heard of it. I go, well, I told you it's a small company. He goes, what's your main product? And I go, Promescent. He goes, what's that? And so it's a husband and wife standing there. I go, it is an FDA compliant treatment for premature ejaculation. If co-parenting during a pandemic taught us anything, it's that you need proof your kids are safe. With alcohol abuse on the rise, many co-parents are turning to the no-nonsense system committed to providing proof, protection, and peace of mind. Soberlink's alcohol monitoring system is the most convenient, reliable, and reasonable way for a parent to provide evidence that they are not drinking during parenting time. Soberlink's real-time alerts make it easy to negotiate with any party. Judges rest assured that the child is safe. Attorneys get court admissible evidence of sobriety and both parents have empowerment and peace of mind. Do divorce right and trust the experts in remote alcohol monitoring technology to keep your kids safe, happy, and well-adjusted. To download the guide, Five Non-Negotiables for Embracing a New Normal, 
that I developed with Soberlink? Visit www.soberlink.com backslash DRR. Talk about dead silence for 10 <laughs> seconds. And I swear to God, look at this guy goes, sticks his chest out. He's like, it's the last thing we need in this relationship. <laughs> Use me, Ron Jeremy. Okay, no problem. <laughs> okay. So five minutes later, he goes over. They had this like truck with had tri-tip and turkey and roast. They were carving, you know, okay. and stuff. He goes over to get something. The wife leans over and goes, can we have some samples of that we do? I was gonna, yeah. And I'm like, why is it that every guy, why? the right. first thing they do is they have to tell you. There was a situation where I used to be a semiconductor executive prior yes. to retiring the first time. So about three, four years after uh, taking over this company, after I retired, I went to the wedding of a friend of mine who was a semiconductor executive. So a bunch of us were sitting there and, Somebody goes, what's this crazy company you took over? You know, sexual wellness, whatever. I go, well, it's great. And somebody goes, what's the product? I go, well, our initial product, even though we're expanding now, is, you know, this delay spray to allow men to last longer. And there were four of us sitting around. And the one guy goes, what? What kind of bullshit is that? And the guy gets up and, like, leaves. Like, he's all like, whoa, whoa. Okay. So everyone's like, whoa, Jesus. So we didn't really talk a lot more about it and stuff. And about a week later, because I... I built this company from scratch. Okay. I That's am awesome. the company. I built it. Even though we're thriving now, we have an 8,000 yeah. square foot building with, you know, employees and shipping and everything. I know every aspect of this company. I built it's amazing. it. amazing. Okay. And so I, I'm very anal. I watch everything. Okay. So it was about a week later and I'm looking and I'm scanning orders and new customers. Cause I always like to know what's driving traffic, sure, this sure. podcast, that influencer, you know, a digital ad, you know, a YouTube. It's important. Video. It's, it's important. important. You've yeah. got to know what works so you do more of it. What Absolutely. Doesn't, so you do less of it, right? I'm, I'm with you. I think yeah. you're going to work for me today, Jeff. I think you're actually going to get, you're going to, I think this so is a good, this is a good thing. Here's the craziest thing. I look and I'm like, what? I go, no, it must be coincidence. I look. He's the on guy that. that had, of course. He ordered, do you know that was six years ago? He averages seven to eight orders a year. Wait, wait. Literally. I have questions. How yeah. long? Okay, so you get one bottle. How how long typically does one bottle last? Okay, there's two sizes. There's a 20 spray bottle okay. and a 60 spray bottle. Oh my God, okay. The 20 spray bottle, depending upon, if yeah. you're using it and you have severe PE, it'll last four to five times, okay? Okay. If you're using it recreational, it'll last 20 times. Because awesome. a lot of recreational okay. people use one, okay? Okay. 60, obviously, any, if you're severe PE, 15 to 20, if you're recreational, it's 60, 50 to 60. Okay. So it's very inexpensive. I refer to it as if you have severe PE, it's about $3 per session. You know what I mean? Per session. Or encounter. I, I it's, never, it's I worth can't every penny. A, I can't it's, find a good term. If you come up with a term, let me know. I'll let, I, get, I got one for episode. You know episode, I mean? right. Episode. Right, right. Uh, if you're, you know, recreation, it's a dollar a time. I mean, and it's worth every penny. It's expensive. I go, if your intimacy and quality of your can't put a price on it. Dollar, two dollars, three dollars. You're not in our customer base, okay? Right. If you're right. not. Just go find something else. Go numb yourself up. Go take an SSRI. Go do whatever, okay? Right. We are into really making people's intimacy better, but we want to make sure our products work and they're effective. You use them correctly, and also that they have the finest ingredients and the safety. Right. Well, that's you know, another question I have for you because I have a, my kids are in college. So, you know, these college kids now, this may be another market for you. These college kids now are are taking stuff because they know they're going to be drinking. Yes. So they're popping shit before they go out. Yes. And so maybe this could be a little market. I mean, you know, cause they're like, they don't want, you know, can I say like limp dick, they want to be able to, you know, with their, with yes. their girlfriends and shit. So yes. is it safe for college kids? I mean, is it safe? Very for young? safe. It's, you know, we sell, and you'll laugh when I tell you this, the youngest that we know is 18. This yeah, is that's what I'm saying. Product. My son was working in our customer support area during college, you know, 20 yeah. hours a week. So he calls me one day, it was in the summer. He goes, dad, what's our mental health policy like? Right. I'm like, excuse me? He goes, right. I go, why? Do you have a mental issue? He goes, I do now. And I go, why? He goes, I was processing these orders and I saw this one order and the guy said, please have it delivered to the front desk, ask for the attention of Betty. And he goes, I had to make sure. I thought he was in a hotel. We got it there before he checked out or whatever, front desk. And he goes, I call. And the guy's 95 years old. He's in an old folks home, you know, and it's delivered. Yes. 
He, yes. My son was 19. He was a sophomore in college. He was traumatized. The <laughs> idea that a 95-year-old person was But that's a huge, but that's, you understand they have so much sex and there's so much sex. That's like well, going With on. the advent of Viagra and stuff now, it's insane. People who work in nursing homes go, it's crazy. It's crazy. But they yeah. find them in closets. They find these people, nuts. Yeah. So like, I guess you're like, hey, I'm on my way out. I need one for the road. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, and hey, granted, I'm all for it. Go Please, for it, right? Just don't make me think about it, okay? No, I'm I like, don't. Oh, God, okay? It's <laughs> like, I'm sure my son, and my son laughs all the time because someone will send him a podcast, you know, and he'll go, Dad, I, my son and I are very close. I Welcome to my world. Kids. My kids are embarrassed. My kids are like, Mom, oh, please. My are you kidding? My traumatized. He goes, Dad, <laughs> the fact that I have to listen to you wax poetic about sex is gross. You're my dad, Okay. I don't, I go, I didn't send it to you. He goes, yeah, but all my friends are sending me, you know, like, and I go, just block it out. Don't listen to it. You I know? got one better for you. My kid was on my podcast. I made him come on my podcast two weeks ago. My son. That's was, awesome. Oh, my was son great. would, he wouldn't go near a podcast that I was on if you paid him all the tea in China. Okay. It's like, no, 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 no. Because my son laughs. We were really close. I but love he's that. Like, he always tells me, he goes, my dad's like a cartoon character. He goes, it's hilarious. He goes, I love it. Yeah, but it's that's just, nice. It's I nice. It really yes. is. I was with him all weekend. I was in Southern Cal. Awesome. Uh, because I'm buying a second home in uh, Orange County right now. Because oh, my brother I, lives I, there. Get married next year and start a family and everything. That's so nice. So I have to be close to him. You know, Aww. so I'll spend 55% of my time here, 45%. Well, I'll come say hi to you when my, bro my brother lives in, and that's where he lives. In, 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 LA. in LA. He oh, actually, in LA. In, yeah, he, yeah. So we'll call, where are you at right now? I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, okay. oh, one of my I, favorite states. Oh, really? Okay, I'm I, the, North Carolina has the nicest people. Right? Aren't we so nice here? But yes. I'm from Detroit, so it's not really fair. Uh, yeah, you're from Detroit because obviously yeah. you went to school with them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I went to this, uh, there's a company thinking of acquiring this. It was a long time ago. We, whatever, they were in Raleigh, North Carolina. Oh, sure, so sure. They wanted me the to triangle. Go, yeah, it, it, for a week of negotiations. So I'll never forget this. I check into the hotel really late at night because I had a flight. It was delayed. It was raining, you know. <sighs> and so I drive to the hotel. I check in. It's about midnight. And I ask, I said, hey, is there a, because uh, uh, I work out every morning no matter what. Oh. It's important for me to get my mind right and set and everything. They go, oh, we have a reciprocal. We don't have a uh, health club here, but right across the parking lot, there's a beautiful Equinox or whatever. You know, we have a, okay, great. So in the morning, I come down, it's 6.45 or 7 a.m. I get out of the hotel, and as I'm walking across, I hear really loud, oh, going for your workout, Mr. Abraham. I'm like, what? Who's that? Like, <laughs> and I look, it's a front desk person. I'm like, how in the hell did they know that from you know the night before, right? It's the South. Then I come back. The South. Hey, Mr. Abraham, how was your workout? I'm like, whoa, it like, scares the hell out of you. I was living <laughs> oh, trust in me. Trust That's me. I know. I moved here, okay? <laughs> so you're not going to believe this. So I go to get my rental car. Oh, Mr. Abraham, how you doing? I'm like, what? Oh, remember you checked in last night? I'm like, what do these people have, like a file? You know what I mean? I go to the restaurant and I go, what's really good? You know, because I like seafood and I like chicken. Sure. Oh, you love the swordfish? Great. But I have the swordfish. I go to the next night. The waiter's like, you want the swordfish with the uh, grilled spinach again tonight? I'm like, it's the people sound. are so friendly. So, nice. so, so after nice. a whole week of this, okay, I'm like, oh my God, maybe I'll move here. Because I lived in LA at the time. On a Thursday morning, I start looking at the real estate section. I start driving around. This was back in uh, 2011. That's when I moved here. Are you Wait, kidding? no, I moved here in 2009. Yeah, yeah, this is 2011. You could buy. Oh, I know. A 4,000 square foot brick home. Of course. Fairly recently constructed on a half an acre for 300 grand. I swear to God. I don't know what it's like now, but that was like... That's why we moved here. <laughs> yeah, and my house back then was $2 million. And, and I'm like, wait a second, okay? I was like... But so I was thinking about moving there and the whole thing. But after a week, you kind of get into that. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, how are you? You know, whatever. Oh my gosh, that's so how we are here. I it's very, back, very nice. I fly back to LAX, right? And so I'm usually one of the first people to get off a plane because I fly so often. I always get upgraded. You know what I mean? Sure, sure. And that kind of stuff. Because I don't spend it, but it's all frequent flyer stuff. You sure, know? sure. I fly all the time. So you know how when you're like first walk out of the plane, there's a cleaning crew ready to walk on the plane. You sure, know what I mean? sure, like, sure. Yeah. Because they have to hurry and get it all spruced up for the next group. So here's me walking out and I see these four people standing there. 
I go, hey, how you doing? This is in L.A. They look at me like, fuck you. What? You know what I mean? Like, I was like, Stop Whoa. talking to me. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm back in L.A. I can't talk to anyone. I can't reach out to a stranger. Hey, how's your day going? You know what I mean? It was like, <laughs> it was so insane. I, I had to reprogram myself. I go, oh, I can't be friendly. I can't be happy anymore. I have to have the thousand yard stare. Even if someone <laughs> approaches me, I have to look at them like, how dare you speak to me? I don't know you. You know I just find that North Carolina hospitality. Yeah, it's amazing. So nice. They're it's so just, nice here. It's so nice. I, I know. Love it I'll there. never forget the first time they actually at the Harris Teeter they bag your groceries for you. And oh, I was yeah? like, no, no. I was like, no, no. That's okay. I got it. And they're like, no, it's not. It's it, no. This is what we. Do. I'm like, no. That's okay. That's really. It's okay. Because I was like, who's touching my damn groceries? Right. I'm like, yeah. how much is it for that? And what do you charge? And they're like, it's free. It's and free. then we're gonna then we're gonna take it to your car for you. I call my yeah. mom. I'm like, mom, they freaking take it to your car. They bag it. They. I mean, they're yeah. so nice. It's like really. No, cool. it's I love that area. Yeah, it's beautiful. But it I is. can't be that far away from my son. No, 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 no. Well, so. my kids are. They both left me. They're going to Syracuse. Well, my first one's at Syracuse. Okay. He's at the new house school. Oh. He's what? He's at the Newhouse School. Do you know Newhouse at Syracuse? Yes. Yes, for broadcast journalism. So Nice. I have a yeah. couple of friends. Well, not friends. They're children of my good friends that go to Syracuse, but they oh. better be prepared for some nasty winters. I know. We're from, I'm from Detroit, so I'm not – my kids oh, never – they've never – no, no, they've never seen snow. Well, they've seen snow, yes, but they've we've lived here since they were five, so. Oh, okay. So they, they weren't born and raised in Detroit. No, 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 but I was. Oh, yeah. So I, I love okay. Detroit people. I do uh, the Sirius XM show Shade 45 with Rude Jude Angelini a lot. And awesome. he's from Detroit. Awesome. He's a friend of M&M's. It's m M&M station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And love. Detroit people are no nonsense. We don't mess around. Direct. Here's how I feel. <laughs> yeah. I love okay. that. I do too. It's good. I miss it every day. So yeah. hopefully one day we'll get back there. But um, this has been awesome. I loved having you. Oh, it's great. I have I to mean, let you go. But wait a minute. Tell me before we go really quickly. So where can we find you? Where can we get Promescent? What is the best way? I mean, it's all going to be in the show notes. But I really feel like um, my listeners are, they're going to be running for, yeah, they're going to be. I people, no matter which product you're going to buy, no matter where you're If co-parenting during a pandemic taught us anything, it's that you need proof your kids are safe. With alcohol abuse on the rise, many co-parents are turning to the no-nonsense system committed to providing proof, protection, and peace of mind. Soberlink's alcohol monitoring system is the most convenient, reliable, and reasonable way for a parent to provide evidence that they are not drinking during parenting time. Soberlink's real-time alerts make it easy to negotiate with any party. Judges rest assured the child is safe. Is web Attorneys get court admissible You'll evidence of sobriety, Anthony, Chunas, and both you know, parents have empowerment and peace of mind. Do divorce right and trust so the experts in remote alcohol monitoring technology to keep your product, kids safe, you happy, right there, and well-adjusted. No for an exclusive I mean, $50 no off shipping, your device and to download five negotiables for embracing a new normal I developed with Soberlink, visit www.soberlink.com. Dot com also available backslash on We're DRR. Available at, at Target, at Walmart, and at GNC. We also have our full line of products. We also have our female arousal gel. We have a female arousal gel. We can talk about that. Yeah. Now, did we not send you samples? No, I got nothing. It's, they'll be winging their way to you right now. I got nothing. Oh, I'm so day. excited. I'm so excited. We have a female arousal gel. Because it's also important to address females, okay? Well, yeah. And this is a an emollient, a, just a little dabble do you, so to speak, <laughs> that you put- That's a good right pun, a little exactly. dabble do you. That's on a good one. Your clitoris, and it creates a warming sensation. So it increases blood flow, which obviously is what a woman wants, well, you know, yeah. to get aroused. Yes. We also have a full line of lubes, silicone, water, and aloe vera lubes. And those okay. are very warmly received. We have a full line of vibrators and toys, male masturbators, all kind of bullet vibrators, all kind of, you know, extensive vibrators for women and toys as well. Our number one fastest growing product, the delay spray is still the signature product. But we have a product called Vitaflux. It's a nitric oxide supplement. And I don't know if you're familiar with what that is. No. It's L-arginine, L-citrulline, L-carnitine, three amino acids infused with magnesium and zinc. Oh, that's great. What that sounds does, great. It increases blood flow, but it okay. has very specific sexual and non-sexual benefits. So when you re increase blood flow, you decrease blood pressure. Everybody wants decreased blood pressure. Of okay. Course. 
when you recover from stress or workout or muscle soreness, the way that you recover is you get oxygenated rich blood into the area which promotes recovery. This does that. Okay. So it helps you recover from workouts, from stress, from muscle soreness. Okay. okay so anybody can take it. Anyone can take it. Okay. And it's non-prescriptive. All our stuff is non-prescriptive. Sure, the sure. most important facet is every vein and every artery in everyone's body has an epithelial layer that covers mm -hmm. those veins and arteries. It's meant to keep bad things, viruses and bacteria out and allow the good things to enter like hormones and vitamins and nutrients. Now, as when you're young, it's very supple, it's very soft and it allows this to happen. As you age, it thins and hardens. Yep. When it does, it still keeps the bad stuff out, but it starts keeping good stuff out. Great. So it starts uh, inhibiting hormone absorption. Right. So for men, you get a little more body fat, you have a little less lean muscle tissue, you don't have the same quality of erection, the same libido. For women, you get a little more body fat, you get a little less muscle tissue, and your libido goes down. More importantly, women, when they have low levels of uh, hormones, they tend to lose natural lubrication yes. in the late 30s, early 40s, especially, you know, when they go through the change and everything. <laughs> so when you, this softens up the epithelial layer. So we have women that for that reason alone go, oh my God, I had to use tons of outside lubrication. Yep. And even though there's outside lubrication available, when a woman doesn't lubricate, there's almost a subconscious thing her man feels, I'm not turning her on. Absolutely. Oh, I never, th yeah, I never thought about that. it has nothing to do with that. It's a physiological change due to lack of hormones. So we have women that lose their minds. They're like, oh my God, I'm lubricating like I was 20 years ago now. And that's so important to me because it's just very, it's a turn on to my partner to know that I'm lubricating naturally. Right. Because there, even if you know from a academic standpoint, oh, it's a physiological thing when you go, it oh my God, my woman's bone dry or, yeah. you know, you know, I got to go get, yeah. Screws with your brain. It screws yeah. with your brain. So that product is phenomenal. And okay, it, ladies, did you hear that? Yeah, this is really oh, important. Vitaflux. The name of that one's Vitaflux. And Vitaflux. Kind of clinical, yeah, Vitaflux for men okay. and women. It's all kind of clinical trials. There's all kind of, you know, studies and testimonials. It is a phenomenal product. Okay, so, everybody needs to just yeah. go to your website and do yeah, some go research to first. Go to the website. P-R-O-M-E-S-C-E-N-T, -E promescent.com. Okay. Educate yourself. You can go anywhere and get it online. You can go to Amazon. You can buy it from us. But what I want you to do is buy it for the right reasons. I want yeah. you to read and do your research. And I want you to go, I think this can help me. And then yeah. if it doesn't, I want to make sure that I make it good so that there's no risk to you. I'm very confident because we have about an 80 to 85% satisfaction rate. Wow. And Jeff, also one more thing too. If you do get it off the website, they send it to your house and it's... it's um very discreet. Yeah, discreet. All That's what I'm looking for. Thank you. Bubble wrap, you know, yep. complete envelope. And then on the left hand corner, it says APLLC. Yep. That's the entire return address. So everyone can, everyone can get it. And you don't, no one has to know. No, no one has one to know. Once ago, your kids go, Hey, oh. mom, uh, your Vitaflux <laughs> came today. Oh, you're not lubricating. You know what I mean? Your sex drive a little low. Or, Hey, dad, your, uh, or your roommates. You know what I mean? Like oh, that kind God. of stuff. So yeah. it's completely. You know, anonymous. Great. Yeah, it's great. This little it's great. thing, AP, you know, LLC. It's great. You know, we're very, very, very happy. We've been growing substantively. I love you know, it. I year over year now. And we now have morphed from a PE spray company, a delay spray company, into a sexual wellness brand. I love and it. that's really been gratifying. You know, it's been great for oh, us. Congratulations. I think it's it. great. No. Yeah. But it's through vehicles like this because if all we do is run a banner ad people go oh another one of those companies it must yeah. be another one of those delay spray companies that numbs you out in a banner ad i can't explain the eutectic formulation we can't no. explain the differentiation we can't say go to the site look at the testimonials look at you know this is the vehicle that really helps us somebody who has an audience who believes in them and says this person has done their homework and they don't bring anyone on here unless they know that they're legitimate. that's the truth i you have know. to tell you you're the first person i've ever had on um, you know, I did my research and I was, I was skeptical at first. I'm like, no, nope, I'm not going to do it. My listeners. But then I thought to myself when I was talking to your assistant, is it your assistant? Yes. Lisa, right. And, and we were talking and I'm like, you know what? I think my, my listeners are going to flip out for this. Oh, it's like flip out. I mean, I it's can honestly tell you this right now, expect as much, if not more feedback than you've had on anything you've ever done. This is a huge topic that 
people want to hear about. But unfortunately, do you know how difficult it is? We all our Facebook ads get turned down all over Instagram because it's a yes. sexual nature. Yes, this I mean, think about that. It's so Puritan and so backward ass when it comes to that. Yep. Sex is life, okay? We need to be able to talk about these I things. Agree. These are real issues that people face. And it it has a lot to do with people's self-esteem and happiness. Okay. I agree. So it's this kind of vehicle where we can have this frank conversation Absolutely. and talk to people and have them feel comfortable and say, whoa, I do want to have, you know, research. Every time I get one of these emails, on one hand, I'm happy. On the other hand, I'm really sad. We'll get emails and text messages. Oh my God, I was asexual. I stopped having sex. I just didn't want the disappointment and shame. I heard mm-hmm. you on this podcast. I heard you on this and I wanted to give it a try. Oh my God, I didn't realize that I could be vital again. And on one hand, it's invigorating. On the other hand, I go, we reach one out of every 10,000 people that need help. You know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah. we're not Pfizer. We don't have a $500 million advertising right. budget. We're right. 499.5 million short of that 500 million, you know? So it's vehicles like this where we connect with people. It's really important. And I also tell people, you can look me up on Instagram or Twitter and it's Jeff Abraham 111. Okay. Direct message me, ask me any Oh, question that's so nice, whatsoever. Jeff. No, absolutely. That's, that's really nice. Thank you it's, for that. You know, I retired once. I came out of retirement to run this company. So this isn't about money for me. I already had enough that I could live the rest of my life comfortably. Ron Gilbert was my very good friend. He was murdered in a case of mistaken identity, if you can believe that. Someone who had a prostate surgery 23 years prior decided he was going to kill the doctor that did the surgery, got the name wrong and killed the wrong guy. This is Ron's company. Oh That's why I always say early on, this is his company. It's he's oh the my God. I did this to give him a legacy so oh. that he could have a legacy of something other than That's the That's horrible, Trump. Jeff. It's crazy. It's the it's most horrible. senseless, idiotic thing you could ever imagine. Oh my God, okay. I can't. And, you know, his wife and his sons are still major shareholders in the company. Oh, that's nice. And he had a mission. And I feel like I'm the steward to take this thing to the next level. So this is a labor of love for me. This isn't about money. It's not about ego. It's about taking helping people too. his mission. He was a doctor. He loved helping people. And that's why we're different. Okay. We're not here to just generate revenue. You know what I mean? And bottom line, this is a privately held company that we don't have to report to, you know, you know, the public or, and I tell people that we are going to do things his way because this is his company That's nice. and it honors him. And he was based in science and medicine and knowledge. And I that's love that. why we're different. Yeah. I'm glad you were here today. And I'm glad that I made the decision yeah. to have you. And any <laughs> emails or direct message you get, if you go, I'm not sure about that forward. Yeah, I won't be. I mean, I, I know I will. Everyone. I absolutely will. Jeff, yeah. thank you for being here. I appreciate you. My pleasure. Thank you. It's fabulous. Everything will be in the show notes, you guys. Um, everything, everything, everything will be in the show notes. Um, it's Jeff Abraham from Promescent is a, is a product. Once again, I'm just saying it one more time. Listeners, do me a favor. Go on the website. Check this out. And you know what? Just give it a shot. I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to get some samples and I'm going to try it. No it. Yours are on the way as soon as we're done here. Oh, I'm, I'm so excited. Yay. I'm Why so excited. We have samples. Yeah. <laughs> My boyfriend's in for a treat. Let me just put it that way. Yeah, exactly. um, oh, I'm excited. Anyway, so everybody, um, you know where to find me, jenniferherbits.com. This has been such an awesome episode. I don't ever want to go, but Jeff, thank you so much. And everybody, a you know pleasure. what to do. And I thank awesome. you. Thank, thank you, you very honey. much. For the thank you. Thank you. Um, get out there. Do something awesome for yourself today. I don't know what it is. Go, go have sex. Everybody go have sex with your partner. Do something fabulous and fun in the bedroom. And um, you know where to find me. But peace, love, and truth, y'all. Be good. Thanks.